When the Apostle Paul talked about having speech that was sweetened with grace, Colossians 4, 6, he also was reminding us to look at Ephesians 4, 29. Again, let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good for edification that's according to the need of the moment. It means it's timely. So how do you know when your words are timely? We have this attitude that says, well, I want to get this off my chest. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it now. And the Bible warns against that. In Isaiah, it says, you know, that we think we have control over our own mouths. And it talks about the choice as to whether God is the Lord of our mouth or we are. So we get this attitude. So how do we know? Well, I just want to say what I want to say when I want to say it. And yet the Bible says we need to ask ourselves, is it fitting for the occasion? Is this the right time? Does this really need to be said now? Or can it be said at another time? And is there a better way to say this? We have to do some pre-thinking. Timeliness. I often say in marriage that timing is everything. It really is. You know, uh, imagine saying to a spouse, I love you, uh, do you love me? And then they pause before they answer. Timing is everything. And so I say that to remind us, because Proverbs 12, 18 says, one who speaks rashly speaks like one who is thrusting a sword. I, I've seen too many relationships, marriages and parent and, and children and so forth, where, where frankly, it is so sad to watch the, the relational jousting, the, the sword playing that they do with one another, instead of making sure that it's timely. I love the illustration of a father who decided to be timely in what he said. His son came home with all failing grades, and the son said, Lord, help me to say something that's timely, that's really what needs to be said right now, and it's fitting for the occasion. My son looks so distraught, and maybe I need to correct his study habits later. Maybe there's a better way to say this. And so he said to his son, so I see that you got all failing grades. Well, son, at least I know you weren't cheating. A positive word, timely said, and a correction comes later.